Hello everyone, so my name is David Garriepi, I'm integration coach at Roboti, and today I'm presenting you our new machine tending solution. So one of the advantages of our solution is that it is non-invasive with the machine. What I mean here is that we rely on the same input and output as an operator. So for example, we are reading the status slide here to get the, the status of the machine. We are pressing button with our button activator and uh, activate our foot switch activator here to activate the, the, the chuck in the machine. So by doing so, uh, we have the advantage that we are compatible with pretty much any machine brand, model or generation since we do not need to wire as anything inside of the machine. So the solution comes with everything you'll need to do this in this type of installation. For example, we'll get the dual gripper set up. You'll get some different fingertip to be able to pick different type of parts as well as the air nozzle here to do the cleaning of uh, your application. So it is really quick to deploy in a matter of two to three hours. You'll be able to install everything you'll need to be able to communicate with the machine. So this is really for the hardware side. And on the software side, we develop a software to simplify the programming of these type of application. So for example, when you do your first program, you will be asked a few questions about your setup. So for example, do you have a single or dual gripper setup? Uh, are, you using, uh, are you using a late or a mill machine? And based on those information, we will pre-build the program templates for you. So the templates will include a few blocks. For example, you will have blocks for pick raw parts, one to open door, another one to uh, remove the finished part from the machine. For the cleaning process, place the raw part, close the door, start the machine, and then dispose of the finished part. So for each of those blocks, we've developed uh, software to simplify the programming of this type of application. So, for example, for the cleaning process, you can define just two waypoints and then choose how you want the robot to move between these waypoints. For example, you could do a simple straight line uh, while, while pushing hair to the air nozzle, or you could have as well doing like a nest pattern to cover more area, or you could even have like a, the kind of a sweep pattern to cover bigger area and be sure there is no debris on the chuck when you place the new part. So as I said, for each of these, uh, of these blocks, you will have some uh, ways to simplify the programming of these applications. Once you program all the different blocks for the, from the templates, you now want the robot to be able to move between these different blocks to be able to go inside the machine and retract from the machine, place the raw part and so on. So instead of defining dozens of waypoints to allow the robot to move in the environment, we will, uh, we will guide the robot, showing the robot where it can move inside the machine. So for example, here I have a few different key waypoints and then I will move the robots close to these waypoints and inside the machine to show the robot where it can move. So for example, I will have, I could define a first waypoint, let's say here, that will be above my pick, my pick parts block. So I will then record this waypoint here. And while I'm doing so, the robot is recording every movement that I'm doing. So I will then move the robots towards, let's say, the position where I need to pick the parts from the machine. And I will record that waypoint here. Then I will move the, towards, let's say, the position where I want the robot to do the cleaning process. Just like that. I will record that position. Then again, I will move let's say to place the finished part inside the chuck. So this could be my approach point close to the block that I did for the, for place the, to place the part. And then I would record that waypoints here. And then I will simply get back to my position here to be able to place the finished part. So now we'll stop the recording and we see that the robots recorded a total of 832 points. So this build like a 3D map of the environment in which the robot can move. So now I can then select for each, between each of the block, I can tell the robot it can move to the next, uh, the next block by using the smart move that I just teach the robot. So here we'll simply need to select the corresponding waypoints. 
So I select the corresponding waypoint for each of the block. Big finish part. Clean. Lace finish parts. And thick row parts. So now I program, let's say I already programmed my blocks and I'll just want the robot to be able to move between the different blocks. Then uh, by defining those, those movements here, the robot now knows how to get inside a machine by itself, how to get to the different position without having to define waypoints by myself here. So this also have the advantage, so it is much easier to, to program, but this also have the advantage of being much quicker if you have any changeover that needs to be done. So for example, if you need to do a different part, uh, you can reuse the template that you use for the parts here, and then you will be able to reteach the position for your parts. Maybe you'll have to reteach the position for the insertion in the chuck, but all the motion between these waypoints won't have to be teach again because the robot knows the environment in which it can move. So it will generate the motion automatically and optimize the motion between these different blocks. So it doesn't have to program this yourself.